Scientists at the heart of the climate gate scandal are facing new allegations which cast further doubt over global warming research. New analysis shows the researchers had tried to suppress key details of their findings for 20 years. RT's Laura Emmett has more. New allegations swirl in Climate Gate. It began last November with an email leak at the University of East Anglia, suggesting that one of the world's foremost centres for climate research had been manipulating data to prove man-made global warming. Now, it turns out, data manipulation has been going on since at least 1990. The head of the university's climate research unit, Professor Phil Jones, has come under fresh suspicion for a paper he released 20 years ago, claiming urban warming wasn't a factor in higher temperature readings he'd recorded. But he doesn't seem to be able to show where his information came from. That's really a disgrace. I mean, that data was paid for by public money, and so everyone should have access to it. If we're spending that kind of money to try and stop climate change, then the fundamental data should be available to any anyone who wants to check. That same paper was used as evidence in the latest report from the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The panel's also come under fire recently for falsely claiming in one of its own reports that all Himalayan glaciers could melt away by 2035. The head of the panel has refused to apologize, calling the error an isolated mistake. Global warming skeptics say such occurrences mean we essentially know nothing about the climate. It means we do not have a reliable measure of how temperatures have changed over the last 50 or 100 years. Uh, we can say, well, you know, one year is warmer than the other, but the relative amounts, like 2002 compared with the 1930s, was it warmer, was it colder? We actually do not know. More worryingly, another case suggests the whole system of scientists reviewing their colleagues' work is corrupt. Some of the leaked emails from the University of East Anglia's Climate Research Unit refer to a paper that Professor Jones reviewed and deliberately suppressed. It's emerged it was an analysis of data from weather stations around Russia's Lake Baikal. It showed much less warming than Professor Jones's own analysis of much the same data. There's other things they've been doing which are also grossly unacceptable. Namely, they've been trying to prevent the publication of valid scientific opinion and research which goes against what they believe. And that is absolutely monstrous. They not only suppress the um, scientific opinion which they don't like and scientific research, they actively avoid commissioning work which I'm certain would have appeared in print but for the fact that they've got a total uh, grip and bias against anything they don't agree with. The University of East Anglia continues to call its data rock solid. These latest climate gate revelations suggest this scandal's far from over. And all the time, the voices of the sceptics are getting louder. They're asking if man-made climate change is such an unassailable fact, why does it have to be proved using manipulated data? Laura Emmett, RT, London. Global warming skeptic Pat Michaels thinks Washington is trying to uh, militarize the issue of climate change. Climate change is a, is a way overblown issue. And again, uh, the Obama administration is having a very difficult time selling its expensive climate change programs uh, to the people of this country. And so now they're going to try and pose it, po pose it as a military issue. I don't think it's going to work. The fact of the matter is when you can't sell an issue to, to the American people very well, you try and sell it as a military issue. And the Defense Department is only all too happy to go along because they see big budget increases. Obama is committed on this issue because he committed to it as a campaign issue. Uh, he's got a lot of constituents. He's got a, got a please on this, and he's going to try and sell it any way he can, and he's going to fail. So that was Pat Michaels, global warming skeptic there. And coming up